So what happened on Easter morning? Here's what happened. The devil uses death as his weapon. Hebrews 2, 14, 15. It's his weapon. He uses death as a weapon to keep us imprisoned as hostages. We're all scared of death. It's the, he died, Jesus died, to set us free from the power of the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, to set free those who lived all their lives as slaves to the fear of death. That was word for word. Hebrews 2, 14, 15. Jesus died to set us free from the fear of death, which is his, the devil's power weapon. Yeah? He put death to death by dying. On Good Friday, what happened was this. Jesus was born a human being. He lived his whole way through up to the cross. When he died on the cross, he was Adam, the last Adam. If one died for all, 2 Corinthians 5.14, all died. In Adam, all die. In Christ, all live. The wages of the sin power, the wages of sin is death. The power of the devil is death. He keeps us in prison through the, and keeps us hostages through the fear of death. So Jesus has got to break us out of death. And he didn't do it by paying a price that he negotiated with the devil or with God. He broke us out. Where does the Bible say this? In Acts 2, 23, 24, it says, You guys killed Jesus. But God broke him out of the grave, broke him out and set him free on Easter Sunday morning because death could not hold him. Death could not hold him. Behold, Jesus said on resurrection morning, I have the keys to death and Hades. Jesus died. He joined us in death, which is the great enemy and the power weapon of the devil. Death is the last enemy. And Jesus, what he did was he broke us out of Hades. He broke us out. He got the keys to death and Hades and the grave and he broke it open and he set the captives free. How did he do it? He joined us. Have you, haven't you seen movies when people are in jail? Yeah, but they should be in jail. They should be in jail and someone then willingly joins them in jail and becomes a hostage there with them in jail and then organises jailbreak. And while he's there as a co-hostage, Jesus became Adam, became human, joined us as a co-hostage and went right into the pit of Hades, the realm of death to join us in there because he knew, I'm going to break you all out. Jailbreak, universal jailbreak. If one died for all, all died. He came in as a co-hostage, joined us in the grave in Hades, got the keys. I've got the keys of Hades. It's Revelation 1, 17, 18. Look, I'm the one who died, live again. I've got the keys to death and Hades. I live forever. He became a hostage. He joined us in the pit of death and he broke us out. That was Easter Sunday. That was Good Friday. He joined us, but death could not hold him. Acts 2, 23, 24. And he broke us out and he took a train of captives with him. Freedom to heaven. That's Ephesians 4. And when he gets there in Revelation chapter 5, he said he's met by human beings in heaven. When he ascends to heaven 50 days later, there's a stack of human beings up there waiting for him. We were redeemed, set free by your blood from every nation. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. People from every tribe already there on Ascension morning. Folks, that's what Easter is about. Jesus did not die on the cross to redeem us. Jesus, he didn't pay a price to God. He didn't pay a price to anyone. It was universal jailbreak. He became a hostage with us to break us out. He broke the power of the devil. He disarmed these spiritual principalities and powers that had killed us captive and he broke us out. 
That's the truth of the cross. That's the truth of the resurrection. And that's the truth of Easter. God bless you all. I'll upload this immediately. Bless you.